where you've got um, you know stuff that will be uh, uh, recommended to you. So here's an ex explanation of why that appears up there, and also you can see this is where where you've got the the thumbs up um, and thumbs down, and uh, that's the discovery bar. Then if you go into my TV, this is remember I talked to you about having like a like a box set or a library of stuff. So this is my TiVo. This is probably going to be a bit quite revealing about my personality, probably. Because if you start off here, you can see that I've recorded, uh, you know, recorded, uh, you know, Men in Black. Uh, I've set up. Let's have a look up here. I've set up uh, series links. <coughs> so on, on on a series link on Elementary. Um, the, this is quite nice. I'm really proud of what the team have done here. Is that this is the on Onskalista. Is that right? Wish list. So this is how uh, I've created uh, a Quentin Tarantino Osc Onskalista or Tom Hanks. You can do it by keyword as well. And and then basically, what TiVo will do is it will look across all the listings and just constantly search for stuff which um, is relevant. So example, if I take Tom Hanks, it's uh, I just created that the other day. Then you can see. Angels and demons and things like that. So, basically, over time, if you're, for example, I like Luke Besson, so I love films like Leon. I can just set TiVo to have, you know, a Luke Besson wish list, and it will always store stuff to do with Luke, Luke Besson films. And I can just, when I feel like it, I can go in there and watch it. And you can see here, you know, when you look down here created a lot of stuff and there's always stuff to watch. Now if I, um, so I'm pointing at the TiVo box, you can see here at the bottom, you have at the bottom is Senast or Tagna, the re which is where you can basically undelete things, undelete recordings that you um, have accident, you know, you've, you've accidentally deleted or somebody said to you, ah why did you delete that and you can find it there, it's like a recycle bin. Up here is, is TiVo Tips. So this, this is where, as I said to you earlier, <coughs> TiVo kind of learns what you like based on your, your thumbs up and thumbs down. And then it will start to, to, to store things here based on and what you're into. So <coughs> you can see here a selection of things that TiVo um, you know, knows I will like. So that is that is my TiVo, and you can see it's got <coughs> loads. I mean, there's loads of stuff on here. It's only at thirty-four percent. It's loads. I mean, I, I, I really, I really think it's a, it's great having all that storage because you can basically build up this sort of video library. So, so that is my, that is my TiVo. So let's now look at <coughs> the TV Guide. So this is the more conventional way, of course, of finding stuff that you want to watch on TV. I think the key things to highlight here are, firstly, we've got a backwards grid, so we can go back in time, and you can you can find find programs you want to watch, and then uh, you can then you know use catch up and start over on the backwards grid. So that's, that's really good. And also you can um, find out more information on a particular show and um, and, and then basically uh, you can set recordings and things like that. So that's the, that's the, the grid. I think uh, what, what you often find though is that uh, customers who, who have used TiVo so far tend to, to use this grid to go back in time and find stuff that they, they've missed. They've also, they also have, can record series links and record a lot of stuff as well. So their time is often spent between this grid and my TiVo, which I just showed you. <coughs> so now let's go to search and browse. So with search, uh, it's very easy to find something. So if I type in, let's see if I can find uh, George Clooney, there you go, GE, right? And by popularity, you get to George Clooney very quickly. And if I go into George Clooney, this is where you start to kind of discover stuff. So you can see what shows has Clooney been in, what sort of films, 
Which films has he been in? Productioner. And then you go to more, more information and you can I can directly from there create that wish list. So I'm into George Clooney and I can create I can create a wish list about about Mr. Clooney and start recording great shows from that. Now you can go the other thing you can do, so I find I use search when I'm wanting to find something particular I want to watch. And then there's browse. And I don't know if every household is different, but in my household, I waste about, normally I waste about 45 minutes on a Friday night with my wife trying to work out what to watch. Because she's like, oh, I don't know what to watch. Uh, can we? And I say, I want to watch something that's action. And then she says, no, I don't want to watch that. And so actually what I, I found I use actually quite a lot is I use bladra these browse and then I go in there and I say oh why don't we try e love husmes I love autumn <laughs> why don't we try e love husmes which I did the other day and I and, and then I managed to find uh, some great some great stuff to watch so for example moonrise kingdom which we we watched the other day and you can see here um, what's great about this is that you remember we talked, you know, Thomas talked to you about the fact that all in one place you've got all this content. Well, we make it easy for you to find it, and here are the providers that you can you, you can choose. So you know you can be subscribed to something, or if you're not subscribed to something, you can earn, you know can actually rent the, the movie for 48 hours. So you've got the flexibility. But the beauty of this is, is it's all in one place, and then you can you can you can watch a film. So what I thought I'd show you though is if I go, go sorry, if I go back into Moonrise Kingdom, I think it's quite interesting because you can also find more about it. So, for example, you can say, here are the actors, uh, and here's the production team as well. And then you can go in. So, for example, I could go into Bruce Willis now. Ah, what stuff is Bruce Willis in? This is actually happens to me all the time, and then, I, and then I get distracted. So I go in now, and I go in and, oh, I want to watch, you know, G.I. Joe or The Expendables 2 or something, and then I can rent that, I can rent that film. So it's very easy to just go on this journey of navigation. So before I get carried away and spend 45 minutes taking you through my journey of navigation, let's go back to, let's go back to here. So the other way to get to stuff is through Play and Film Boutique. So here is is stuff that um, you know you can basically watch now, and I think what's I've, apart from these themes, which are really I find personally.